Hello, hello, hello. This is Kathy Bedell at My Stamping Spot. Coming today with the uh, Make It Monday. So, first thing I want to show you, I always love to show you the cards I get. I love this card. This is uh, Carol. Thank you so much, Carol, for sending this. Isn't that gorgeous? That's a Dahlia stamp set. It's beautiful, and I love how she put the little silver twine. It's beautiful. Thank you for that. Okay, um... I know the technique I'm going to use, but what exactly I'm going to do, I'm not sure yet. So I pulled Special Moments and Celebrating You because those are great stamp sets. This is uh, free with a $100 purchase during Celebration, which ends in two weeks. And this is in the Spring Catalog. I pulled over some punches for greetings. Uh, label Me Lovely. Label Me Fancy. And everyday label again, these are to use with the greetings. Okay, and I pulled over the free celebration DSP, it's six by six sunshine and rainbows. You get this with a $50 purchase, it's really cute, it's very cute. So, um, I love it. That matches our cloud punch. It's very bright, very happy. That matches the dyes, which are currently on back order. The rainbow dyes. So, you know, I was thinking I might use this. And um, that's the reason why I pulled the Misty Moonlight DSP. But I don't know. I'm kind of loving this as I was flipping through. So I'm not sure which I'm going to use now. All of a sudden... That's really cute, too, with the lime green and the little pink party favors. This would be, hmm, I don't know. If you're on and you're watching, which do you like better? Let's start with that. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I am going to cut a Misty Moonlight base. So this is going to just be your regular card base. So I'm going to score it four and a quarter, score once, cut once, get two bases. Four and a quarter. I'm going to cut it five and a half. And I have two bases. I'm just going to fold this. I'm going to put this base aside. All right. <clears throat> I'm not going to cut the white yet. Well, actually, I will. I'm going to cut the white at uh, five and a quarter by four. This is going to be what I'm going to place my, that is already four. This is what I'm going to put my DSP on. So I don't know, let's see. Wait, I really like that. That's cute. Well, I'm going to do what I originally planned, and then maybe we'll make an alternative after. We'll see. All right, so I want to hold my card this way, uh, landscape. So I'm going to cut this at five and a quarter. You know what? I'm going to cut it a little less. Yeah, I guess uh, I'm going to cut it at five by three and three quarters. That'll be one layer down from the white layer. Okay, this is the whole technique right here. You're going to take the corners and put them on your cut line. Like that. And you are going to cut. And we're going to hold it together and we're going to turn it the other way. So I want my piece to fit together. Like that. And I'm going to put the other point on the other line. So I have to shift this whole thing over like that. There we go. Just like that. And then I'm going to cut on the diagonal. That gives me four pieces. Okay, did everybody catch that? Let me put my cutter aside. So, all I'm going to do, and you know what, I am going to use white Tombow glue for this because it gives me some shifting power. I'm just going to 
Of course, it doesn't want to come out. Hey, Corinne, thank you for sharing. I'm going to just... So I'm trying to leave my little border like that, roughly. And I'm using this glue instead of my regular adhesive because it allows me to make changes once I get the other pieces on. And now I'm going to put the bottom piece on. And I'm actually going to flip this over. And I'm going to have these points meet. And let's hope we get about the same distance. Like that. And then these pieces, I'm going to use the back side of this DSP and fit it together, kind of like a puzzle. Like that. Oh, put that on the wrong side. Well, now, look at that. Let me get a cloth to wipe that off. So, you would need to cut a new piece, but because I am on camera and don't want to take the time to cut a new piece, I wiped it off. But it probably, although it does seem like it came off pretty good. There we go. I'm going to put this on my card base. Whoop. This glue does not want to come out today. There we go. Hey, Deb, how are you? Happy Valentine's Day to you, too. I didn't hear you yell Happy Valentine's Day. Oh, you, were you yelling that I put it on upside down? <laughs> okay. Now, all we need to do is pick a label and pick a greeting. So, let me go back and pick a greeting. Um, let's see. Uh, oh, this is a good one. Where would I be without a friend like you? Where would I be without a friend like you? Um, let me grab a block behind me on the table. And I think I'm going to do this in the Misty Moonlight Ink. Like this. Rainbows are good for friends, right? Now, you could get really fancy with this and do double layering die cuts. Like that. What do you think? You could do ribbon. I'm not going to do ribbon today. But the possibilities are endless. Just a simple little change up your routine. It's a good way to use up 6x6 six six paper. What do you think? Pretty simple, right? I, because I have a second card base right here, I'm going to cut a different one with different DSP so you can see how the same card looks very different with different DSP. So this is going to be four because I'm cutting my white layer. Four by five and a quarter. These are so quick and easy. By five and a quarter, that's going to be that layer. And then, let's see. I actually, so this is the back side, and that's what I should be using. Well, maybe I will use that. So I want to be careful because I want to make sure my stripes are going in the right direction on this one. So I'm going to cut this at five. This will be the top and bottom piece by uh, three and three quarters. See, I didn't want to hold it this way because then my stripes would be going sideways. I wanted my stripes to go up and down. So again, we're going to put one corner on the cutting surface and the other corner on. And when we have two nice corners there, we're going to give it a slice and then we're going to put one corner down, and we're going to put this corner down, and we're going to meet them. It's easy with the nice striped paper. You can line it up. Pretty exact. Okay, so I have that corner lined up. And...
And there we go. Now I have that corner lined up, and I have four pieces. And, like I said, I am going to, I love these little polka dots. How fun are those? They scream party, don't they? I think they scream party. Like that. Like that. And then don't do like I did the first time. Make sure you put the glue on the right side of the paper. Like that. And like that. Let's put all that on the Misty Moonlight base. Hey Karen, good to see you. Now I think I don't know if I want to put white on that. Uh, yeah, I guess it'd be okay. I'm actually going to use the same sentiment because there it is. And just line this up. And a couple little dimensionals on there. And did you all watch the Super Bowl? Did your team win? I'm not going to lie. It was a pretty good game. But at 10.30, I went to bed thinking that I knew who won. And uh, when push came to shove, it seems like I missed the fourth quarter. Apparently, the best quarter. So there you go. All right, I'm just going to add some of these little adhesive back hexagons. These are really cute. They're a little different. They come in all different colors and different sizes and shapes. I think I'll put the pink ones on this. Maybe a green one too. What do you think? Same card, same technique, completely. I want the Bengals to win too, Karen, to be honest with you. And to tell you the truth, I did think they were going to win. So there we go. Simple, fast, same card, same, not same card. Yeah, I guess it is kind of the same card. Same layout, but just um, different DSP makes it look so, so different. And uh, one last thing. It's my last call for my Stamp Club by mail cards. Again, $37 shipped to your door, priority. You get, I love the polka dot paper too, Nora. Um, thank you. Um, you get $28 worth of product. It's $9. I ship it priority mail. So it's $37 shipped. It's $28 porch pickup. You get two of each card. Everything is die cut. All the layers. You get all the little um, brads. You get the ribbon. Everything will be cut and punched. Thank you, Joelle. She die cut all these palm trees. And uh, this paper is beautiful. You get a half pack of this paper, cut six by 12. You're getting a spool of this ribbon. You're getting some of these iridescent gems. Um, they're gorgeous. Uh, so it's $28 in product. You get eight cards, envelopes, written directions, and it all gets shipped to your door priority. If you're interested, email me, um, message me text me. All right, guys, I will see you for 10 minute Tuesday tomorrow. Thanks for joining me for make it Monday and, um, hope you all recovering from the Super Bowl. Thanks guys. Bye.